Holly from The Proper Pineapple, and this is podcast, I don't know, whatever number it said in the title, guys. <laughs> I have had such crazy a couple of weeks and days. Kids, please with the noise. JC, squishy, squishy. He got cookies for his birthday, so he's over there digging in the pack. That's what that crinkle was. Sorry, guys, but you know me. I don't edit it out unless I have to. This is my life. This is how I roll. So this podcast is going to be a little different than other podcasts because I really didn't do anything. <laughs> so I really did. I was so busy getting ready for the Fiber Festival that was um, a week and a half, a little like weekend, a week ago, right? And working on a test crochet for Hannah over at the Cozy Cottage that I really got nothing done on my other whips. I did like two rows on my sweater. I forget the name of my sweater. I don't know. But in my next podcast, more will be done. You will get to see it. It is gorgeous. So first let's talk about um, my test crochet. I'm only going to show you a quick glimpse of the colors I used. I intend to put out a video here in another day or two. Well, maybe about a week and I'll explain why about that. Um, talking about the whole project, about the pattern, about the yarn I used, all of that. But I did finish it. And I used three colors. These are the three. I kind of did some micro striping there and just kind of like made it look pretty. And it's really, really pretty. I cannot wait to talk about it. I have to block it. That's why I don't really want to talk about it right now. But it needs to be blocked. I've just been so busy I couldn't get it blocked. Sorry, there's something there. So that's really the only project I made besides the shawl I made myself. Which now leads me into kind of a new topic since I don't have any whips to show you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys about plans I have for future projects. I designed a shawl to wear to the Fiber Festival. I'm going to grab it. Sorry, you're going to see the back of my head, but let's see. Where is it? There it is. Everything's kind of... Here it is. I used yarn from um, Iron Wheel Farms. They're the ones that custom dyed me my own colorway, which I showed you before, but here it is. So pretty. They're so, so sweet. Um, it's uh, Danielle and Andrew, and they are so sweet. I love this colorway. I've got plans for this colorway soon, and I'm going to talk oh. about those. Oh, Bella. Thank you, baby girl. Sorry. So I made it out of their yarn in their colorway, Victorious, and it is a V-shaped little shawlette that just goes around and wraps. Oh. It's really, really pretty. It's got these ridges and these lace work areas, and um, this is a pattern I am going to be putting out. Uh, soon, but I wanted I rushed this one because I needed to get it done in time for the festival to be honest with you And there's some things that a little bit of math work I need I kind of fudged for mine, but I need to work out for the final pattern Sorry, my hair was tickling my arm uh, So I will be rewriting this so this will be a pattern that will be coming out soon Oh, which at least yeah before I get on to talk about other patterns I want to say I what I was going to say was when I made this shawl after I made this shawl it kind of like opened up my eyes. I mean, I've always wanted to design more stuff, especially shawls and sweaters and stuff like that, but I just haven't like really been in the mindset for that. As soon as I designed this shawl, it like opened my mind. And now I am, I have got plans. So, so many plans. Sorry, I had to move something here because I just remembered something I need. There it is to show you in a second so many plans for so many patterns that I am going to be needing some test crocheters. Now the skills that are going to be needed, obviously a seasoned crocheter, there will be regular crochet patterns coming out, but then I'm also going to have some special crochet stuff like Tunisian um, color work done with crochet. So lots of things that come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link or a post up on Ravelry asking for testers. Just comment with your email if you're willing and um, preferably you know how many years you've been crocheting and what skills you're capable of. I will then pick a large, like a pretty good sized group of you. And then as I have patterns come out, I will email you guys with all the information for the patterns and the deadlines and the things I need and the skills that will be needed. And then the first, however many I need that contact me will be the ones that um, test crochet for me. So if you're interested in that, go look for that post over on Ravelry. Um, but now to get onto some more patterns. So that shawl uh, is going to be coming out soon and I love it. Another one that really the yarn, I'm going to show you. You guys saw this the other day, but I bought this yarn at the Fiber Festival and it is by the Lemonade Shop and it's two colors. 
It's this one here, which is called Harvest Moon. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then this one, which is called Shark Bait, which I love. But and it's just a little, it's a it's more of the aqua -y teal color with speckles. And they go together just stunningly. And I bought them knowing I wanted to make something to color and design something to go with them because they are just phenomenal. And it wasn't until I got home and I was sitting and I was looking at it and I was really, really thinking of what I wanted to do that it came to me. And I'm not going to tell you what the shape or what it's going to be. It is a shawl. It is a two color shawl. I will give you a little hint. This is the hook I'm going to be using. If anybody knows what kind of hook this is, hint, hint, it's a Tunisian. I'm going to design a two color Tunisian shawl and I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm definitely going to need testers for this because it's going to be gorgeous. So that's a plan in the works. Um, another pattern that's in the works. Let me see. Let me grab it. I know you guys are just looking at the back of my head. It's great, right? It's all that hair I have back there. <laughs> You guys also saw I got this skein from Ching Fibers. Ugh. I got all this yarn at the Fiber Festival. And then this pink to go with it from Turtle Maid. And this yellow from Turtle Maid. Oh, by the way, the Ching Fibers is called Flamingo. Which I loved. It's going to be a three color shawl. I haven't exactly worked out everything for this one yet. But I do have a plan in mind. And I think it's going to be pretty amazing. So that will be something I'm going to need a tester for. Uh, then I have some a sweater coming out. It's actually going to be, well, I'm not going to tell you yet, but a sweater that I'm working on. And I technically finished this one, but now I need to go back and write up the pattern and stuff. And it's a hat. And I'm going to see if Mr. Miller will come model it because I'm going to show you the hat first, guys. Now, let me tell you something. You guys probably can't tell because I have a lot of hair and I wear giant bows, but I actually have a really small head, which is... I know everybody says that about themselves that something's different but I really do have a small head hats don't fit me like they do everybody else so I designed this hat to fit average size heads so it looks a little wonky on me which is why I'm gonna have Mr. Miller try it on but let me show you the hat first ready guys this is what it is it's done in crochet um what they call a uh, fair isle kind of or color work and here it is it is a leopard hat with a pom-pom and it is done in um i'll have him try it on real quick and then we'll talk about it a little more okay honey come on in here See, he's got to get down on his knees because my little area is so tiny but here he is <clears throat> hi honey hi honey try my hat on okay. look cute in the hat mm -hmm. he looks better in it than me because my head's too tiny oh the rim now if you guys look at my model doesn't he look great? Oh, honey, put your head down a little so you can see the pom-pom. Oh, okay. Tilt side to side. Show that leopard pattern. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, it goes with your shirt. Model. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strike a pose for the people. <laughs> okay. I don't know okay. why I do this stuff. I don't know why. Because he loves me. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is done in color work. Now, if you guys have ever heard of, you know, in, um, there's C to C where you kind of, you have bobbins and you cut and you tie. There's also tapestry crochet where you run your yarn through as you're going. I can have the hat back now, darling. Oh, okay. You are excused. Oh, man. All right. Everybody, <laughs> for our model. Yes, yes, yes. I expect clapping down below. Anyways, um, with a lot of times with your tapestry crochet, because you're running the yarn through your stitches, Sometimes your lighter colors, when you're working with light and dark, sometimes you could see that darker in there. This is just like knitting in the sense that instead of doing that, you do run your yarn the entire length of the project. But what you have instead are all these floats on the inside. I don't know if that's coming across very well. And my floats aren't the nicest. It's my first one. But the pattern came to me and I love it. And the best part about this is because you have those floats in there. I've got a little piece of lint down there. Sorry, guys. It actually adds insulation to the hat. So you, um, it's extra warm and it's extra gorgeous. Look, I'm going to hold it up, hopefully block my face, and hopefully that will focus. Look at that leopard pattern, guys. And I even snuck in, let me spin it around, doo -doo -doo -doo, a little leopard heart there. Isn't that cute? And it's worked from the bottom up in continuous rounds. 
This is going to be one of the first patterns because it is done, I just have to write it, that I'm gonna need a tester for. So if you think you are capable of doing um, crochet fair isle or crochet color work where you're having all these floats in the background which I am going to be putting out videos on how to do it so if you feel confident in doing that um, please feel free to be one of the people that offers to test this because I need to get this tested so I can get it up it's so cute isn't it one the pom-pom right so I'm gonna try it on for you guys so you guys can see but you will see it looked sorry now my hair's all messy I'm gonna go like that there we go is it better do I look better okay maybe probably not anyways i'm gonna try this on ready don't laugh guys or at least don't laugh too hard my head is tiny so it kind of comes down too far and it's a little too tall but to be honest okay one it goes with my hair wonderfully right i mean you can't tell because i'm wearing this coral shirt but look at the hot pink hair with the hot pink hair which the hot pink hair needs touched up but anyways mm, i'm still gonna wear it because i love it but it's going to look and fit you guys better than it fits me because my head's a little tiny but i wanted to design it so it fits you guys not just me because otherwise only tiny head people could wear the hat <laughs> so it's going to be coming out it's super warm and super comfy and if you live in michigan that's good except for today because for some reason today it is so hot I thought it was the middle of summer and really we're we're so close to fall it's ridiculous should I just wear the hat the rest of this video probably except for like I just said it's hot in here <laughs> I had to turn off the air conditioner to film this video so all I have is a teeny little fan blowing and it's barely doing the job so big bow back on the head guys because you know me and my bows right isn't that great it's amazing all right anyway so that is the patterns coming out very soon and another pattern that I'm working on it's gonna surprise you guys and make some of you happy some of you might not I don't know we'll see but actually as you guys know I have just released my doll pattern and it is going over swimmingly everybody loves it it's doing great I love it and I know a lot of you this you know your first time at doing a doll or first time doing my doll at least it's great for me I've made almost 50 of these dolls I've made a lot of dolls and I was, it was, okay, I kind of thought about doing a couple minor updates, a couple minor changes to the pattern, changing her just a little, right? And then my son, my older son had to go for a sleep study because we want to get his tonsils removed, but they won't remove it until he has at least a sleep study, which I find is weird. So anyways, I go for the sleep study. I'm up late because I can't go to sleep in this weird hospital room, right? And it hits me. And I am going to pretty much redesign my doll pattern it's going to be completely different it will still work with the spines and the soles and this doll pattern is still up for sale on my website i'm coming out with a new doll pattern and next month's giveaway doll will be the first look at it but the pattern probably won't come out at least for a while because you know i want to gotta work out all the little bugs but i'm pretty excited and i think you guys are going to be excited too when you see the new version of the doll pattern because it's different and i like i I'm the type of person I always want to try new and fun things so even though I love my pattern just the way it is and my dolls are always gorgeous at least I think they are I want to try something new now so I hope you guys are gonna be supportive in that like I said this doll pattern still gonna be up for sale it'll just be a new pattern that will work with the same soles and spines so you could buy both patterns and a spine and decide or you could do whichever one you want it's gonna be amazing I'm so excited and my friend Al helped design the colors and stuff. So hopefully you guys are going to like that too. So that's that. Now, like I said, I don't got any more whips. That's, pr that's pretty much what all I've been doing is thinking about patterns. Okay, my daughter's pointing at something. I'm going to show you because we're on to that portion. I'm going to show you things I've bought. Aside from things I bought at the Fiber Festival, really not much. And um, some mail I've gotten from you lovely people for the giveaways. So first off, I want to show you though. My daughter made me out of clay. They're still kind of wet. Let's see here. I gotta cover my face if I'm gonna get it to focus. I can't tell. Is it focusing, guys? There we go. A little snail. It wants to focus on my face so bad. Mm -hmm. A little snail. And then she did. This one's my favorite. I really hope I can get it to cover my face and focus. There it is. A little sheep. She did it from memory. My husband and me didn't show her photos or nothing. It's really cute. So we're letting them up here sit out and dry aren't they adorable okay now i'm going to show you for the 
I got this one hair because of the fan just blowing everywhere. It's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, for the festival, you guys saw photos or you've seen the videos. I had to have pineapple shoes to go with my whole pineapple ensemble, right? Well, I ordered them from <laughs> piece of string. Hot chocolate designs, and this is the box they came in. I mean, they came in a a shipping box, and then this was what they were in. Look, it's like a milk carton. Isn't that adorable? It even has like little like instructions on the sides and stuff. I died. It was so cute. It's so so cute. And then you open the bottom. And I had to show you guys the shoes because in case you didn't get a good look at them in the foot. So you open the bottom and you pull your shoes out. Oh my goodness. All right. So one of the shoes is just this yellow with a pineapple and like the little platy. And the other shoe looks like a pineapple. Isn't that amazing, you guys? <laughs> okay, they are a little pricey. I am not gonna lie. I have actually been looking at these pineapple shoes for about two years, long before I was ever the proper pineapple. I saw them, I loved them. They were hilarious, but they were pricey. And I was like, I cannot justify buying they were like $69, $69 shoes. I'm not going to lie to you guys because I want to be honest. I don't want you guys to see this, go to Hot Chocolate Designs, and then expect to get $20 shoes. These are not $20 shoes. But with the festival coming up and all the other festivals I'm going to, I splurged and went ahead and bought them. I did get a coupon, so I got like $10 off, and I bought them. They're adorable, and I love them, and I'm taking very good care of them because they're $69 shoes and they have to last until I die because I'm going to be buried in them because they're $69 shoes. <laughs> okay, one other thing I bought, again, was a splurge. I, you guys, I'm not a big splurgy person. I, I, I shop for most of my clothes at the Goodwill. I love getting a good deal on stuff, but every once in a while, there's just things I'm okay with putting the money into, like yarn and crochet hooks. And every once in a while, ridiculously priced, adorable shoes. And this. Okay, the pox is cute, right? It's a lipstick. I saw it online, some other people wearing it, and I was like, <gasps> you guys know I love lipstick. I'm not wearing any right now because it was just one of those days. But I bought this. It's by Too Faced, if anybody knows that cosmetics brand. I'm just going to show you really quick because it was stunning. So it's their old throwback colors. Is what they have. And look at the box this came in. Let me cover my face and get it close. Hopefully it will focus. Yeah, it's trying. There we go. Can you guys see the sparkles? It is ridiculous. I know, I'm going to open it up for you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I've tried it on already. I love it. Look at the container. Can you see that sparkle, guys? Can, can, is the sparkle coming across? It is ridiculous. And the lipstick itself is bright hot pink with sparkles in it. It is amazing. It was $22. Again, I know that's expensive, but I intend to use this until I'm like scraping it out with a Q-tip and using it because I love this color. It's my new favorite lipstick. Okay, that's all of like the frivolous things I've bought probably all the frivolous things I'm going to be able to buy for a while because the hubs is going to be like no but anyways he's gonna say no I'm gonna do it anyways anywho let's go on so now I'm going to show you some mail I've gotten from you lovely viewers my pineapple people and it's uh, um I think one or two things for me but a lot of things for the giveaways because you guys know I hit 10,000 and we are going to talk about that after this segment don't go far guys so first off i want to show you i actually just got this in the mail today it is from it was a letter from cindy griffin and she sent me let me just i gotta get this one thing out of the package she sent me a cute little letter and this adorable let me get it to focus i think that worked llama pen or not pen but um patch i will be putting that on something and also i think she made me this adorable, it looks like an arrowhead. She made me this little arrowhead stitch marker. Is it focusing? Oh, I think it did. I don't know. I can't tell. There we go. I think it worked. It's so, so cute. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Cindy. I will be using that. I'm going to put that into my stitch marker container right now because it's going to go into the rotation of my projects that I've got going. Okay, I'm going to talk about this in a minute because it kind of goes with this big box. So I'm going to set that there. So first I'm going to talk about this one. This is from uh, Deborah Garbert. hope I said that right. It, 
If I said it wrong, I'm sorry. You guys know I'm horrible at English. I mean, I still can't say uh, Ami Groomy. Omega Groomy. Ami, I'm on the Groomy. <laughs> That's what we're going to go with. Ami Groomy. She wrote me a beautiful long letter. It was wonderful. I read it and she sent me this beautiful pineapple bandana. And if you guys saw, Cindy Marsh gave me one of these, but she gave me another one of these plaques that says, you are a pineapple. You are the pineapple of my eye. And yes, I don't mind that it's a duplicate because now I can have one on my set, which is right here, if you guys can see it. And now I can put one up in my room on my night or on my vanity so I can see it. So I still love it. Thank you. Um, this next one was from uh, Cynthia Tarznia. Tarz if I'm getting it wrong. She sent me, I was, well, my goodness, my envelope is being a little, a little bit of a jerk. Won't give me my stuff. <laughs> she sent me a lovely letter. I read all my letters, you guys. I do. She sent me a pattern for a tango shawl because she saw that I had gotten some shawl in a balls. So she sent me this pattern by Moogly. I hope I said that correctly for the tango shawl and I cannot wait to try that. It will have to be one of my very soon whips. Thank you so much, Cynthia. I love it. Uh, okay, Deborah White. Okay, Deborah White. Okay, I believe this is the one that I lost. <laughs> maybe it is. Yes, no, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was a different one I lost. It was, let me, let me read the letter. No, this was just one that I saw was different. Not the one that I lost. We'll talk about that in a minute. So it's a bandana and I know it's a duplicate, but that's okay because I curl my hair and Starlet's hair using bandanas. So I can always use bandanas and now they'll all be pineapples. So thank you so much, Deborah. I love that. I think there's one, I think it's down here at the bottom. This is the one. Yes, Jennifer Erskine. Again, <laughs> if I said it wrong. I am so sorry. Please do not be mad at me. My English skills are non-existent. I did not do good in school. She wrote me a lovely letter as always. And she had sent this to me and it had gotten stat in the wrong spot, not in my area. I keep an area for my mail to show you guys. And I didn't get to it and I didn't get to show you. But she sent me some adorable little charms and stitch markers. I'll put that up there, hopefully it is focus. I love them. I've got to put clasps on those, but I love them. And this wonderful towel that says Tropic Like You're Hot, which is so funny. And it's a pineapple. I love it. I've been waiting now to do this podcast so I could show you because I felt so bad. And I've been wanting to use it. I also got something from, let me see. Hopefully it's on here. Oh yeah. Vista. Vista had sent me, if you guys remember, she sent me an entire, uh oh, something fell. <laughs> Let me see what fell, what fell out? Huh, ah, this little tag that says El Pel, El, hashtag El Pel, I can't talk today, you guys. El Pel, Alpaca Selfie, I don't know, it was really cute. Make sure there's nothing else in there, yep, okay. She had sent me those um, knitting books. Well, she was so generous and sent me some crochet magazines. There's that one, this one, that sweater looks pretty. And then she sent me a whole stack of patterns that I haven't even gotten a chance to really flip through, but there's some cute little Ami Groomy? No? Ami, never mind. I'm not even gonna try. We're just gonna say it wrong and the internet can be mad. But thank you so much, Vista. See, now I can't even talk. My English done left. Okay, and I got a package from Deborah McLeland. And Deborah, if you have like an Etsy store or somewhere to contact you where you sell these, people are gonna wanna know. So please give it to me and I will get it out there for the world to know. But she sent me three sets of stitch markers. Two for a giveaway and one for me. So the first one I'm gonna show you, they're little stitch beaded stitch markers with letters on them. And let's see if I can get that to focus cover my face it's not wanting to focus if I don't get my face completely covered guys 
it don't want to focus there we go all right it's beautiful and it's a whole set of them blue, beautiful blue sorry no my husband was going to turn the light on but i don't want it on because too much but anyways the beautiful blue ones then she also set this set that's kind of got more of i'll show you i'll hold up all three here if i can like multicolor, which you know i love beautiful beads here multicolor. i hope that's focusing I, they're so tiny i can't tell if it's focusing but i think it is <laughs> they're gorgeous it's very shadowy but we're gonna work on the lighting guys it's late at night today so it's okay we'll just deal with it we'll deal we'll work roll and then of course i assume this one's for me and you guys will see why here <clears throat> in just a second my set has pineapples look at the pineapples hopefully it focused there again it's so tiny i can't tell if it is and it is they're stunning i love these and she sent me an entire little set of them oh they're so cute i cannot wait to put those in a giveaway for you guys so stay tuned we're going to talk about the 10,000 subscriber giveaway in just a second i only have a little bit more to show you let me get rid of that tote because i keep a tote so next i got a bunch of stuff from our good friend becky who sends me so much she's super super generous she sent me a couple of things one she sent me this little wheelbarrow so cute this little like flower pot then she sent me two pins one is this one oh, my face up by it and hopefully it will focus maybe it did no i don't think it did it's a little um michigan glove and it says southeastern michigan yarn lovers so love that that'll go on something and then she sent me this adorable i really hope it focuses on this one it's a little llama alpaca guy is it gonna work if we go back here maybe so cute i love the little pom-pom that come with it that's going straight on my bag right away so that's what she sent me thank you so much becky i'm gonna put it over there so it's out of the way and now she sent so much for a giveaway give me two seconds because this box let me cover up her postage because i don't want you guys getting her address but do you see this box guys yeah that's what we're working with here because becky is such a sweetie she sends so much oh let me grab uh. <laughs> okay i could have organized this better i suppose <laughs> here we go you hear my husband laughing in the background okay so she sent this mandala mmm pretty this one is called warlock that will be in the giveaway she sent the string these are so soft the strings kind of fall a paste a Hershner's pastry puff look at this one so pretty this is the color patty cake I will get that string tucked in that one's for a giveaway another Hershner's beautiful isn't it this color is called dreamland love it then she sent four skeins of this burnette blanket in the color if i can find the color on this giant label it's the color lilac leaf and it's got like purples and greens because four skeins of this so that is for a giveaway and then she sent a couple other little goodies let's take a look she sent some charms that you guys can make into stitch markers let me get them all flipped you dood around because they tend to get a little so you got like strawberries let's try to cover my face see if it focus strawberries um watermelons and pineapples so she sent that she sent this little set here of I would assume this is like a stitch marker little pouch and this one would probably be like a hook cozy so adorable so that's going to be in an upcoming giveaway Let's dig down here to this little this is cute i like the way it's back she sent two of these adorable little sheep tape measures if you guys can see that and they will be in a giveaway soon too and then of course she went above and beyond as always she sent a USB touche crochet hook in this gorgeous rainbow. You guys know I have a rainbow colored one too. A little different of a shape. But isn't that beautiful? She sent a USL. One of these goes with that big yarn. I have to read the label. But she sent this USL in this pinky and green colorway. I also have a hook like this, but it's smaller. 
very beautiful you guys know i love the touche crochet hooks they'll be linked down below and then she sent this us it doesn't say i think this is the one that goes with it but it doesn't say but i know this is the one that goes with it because i remember now the pink came with it beautiful pink and black one which i of course have one of this color too so she sent three gorgeous touche crochet hooks and you guys know i love them becky thank you so much these are definitely going to be going in a very near giveaway so let me put that back in there because i don't want to lose this little bitty stuff so sorry for the crinkle we'll get that done and let me just move this box kind of off to the side hopefully not trash anything okay guys so i'm going to talk about the giveaway stuff and then i'm going to show you puppies because you guys know i have puppies so let me talk about the giveaway obviously next month's giveaway starts next month but let's talk about the 10,000 subscriber giveaway today is the 28th tuesday the 28th starting tomorrow the 29th we are going to do the 10 day 10,000 subscriber giveaway extravaganza right so what the way it will work is tomorrow at 7 p.m because i have to have during the day time to film and upload and get stuff edited so to start at 7 p.m every day 7 p.m michigan time whatever that is for everybody else sorry i'm really bad at that stuff there will be a video put out every day the first day, I'm just going to show you what day number one's prize will be. Then you will have from 7 p.m. until, I believe, 4 o'clock the next afternoon to comment and enter. Then the video, um, it will be closed. I will pick a winner. I will film a new video for that day, the next day's giveaway and the winner. So on day two, I will announce the winner of day one and show you the prize for day two. So on day three, I will announce day two's winner. On day four, I will announce day three's, so on and so on. So the way this is gonna work is there's actually going to be 11 days because on day 11, you will hear of day 10's winner. But it will be 10 days of giveaways, 11 days of announcements. Is that the way it's gonna work out? Basically. Mm -hmm. And it will be posted every day at 7 p.m starting tomorrow so you will have like i said from 7 p.m when it's posted till four o'clock the next day all you will have to do is be a subscriber of the channel give the video a thumbs up and comment down below just like always and i will pick a random winner i will announce it and then all the prizes will get shipped at the end so if your day one's winner don't freak out it's not coming right away i'm just going to ship everything at once so okay it'll all be done after day 11. And a tens person will have one day to contact me, so I guess shipping won't be for day 12. But anyway, still, it's all coming out. I'm super excited about this, guys. My eyes all itchy all of a sudden. So, I thank you. Thank you guys so much. It's such a huge blessing that I've got 10,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love all my pineapple people. Please stay tuned. I hope a lot of you get a chance to win. It's going to be amazing. Obviously, the 10 days are going to go over into next month. So after this 10,000 subscriber giveaway is announced is when I will be announcing next month's giveaway. So hold tight on that. I'm not like trying to like cheat anybody, but I just can't cram too many videos in at once. We've got to kind of like make it work. So that's what's going to happen. I hope you guys are excited about that. So now I'm going to show you my puppies. So first bring me Momo. So my dog Bella had four little babies. This was her oldest. This is Momo. My Momo. Look at Mo's. He's got the little like half white face and that's why we call him Mo because he's short for Mohawk. It goes down like the back. He's the oldest. Hi Momo. They're so sweet. If you guys ever had Shih Tzu puppies, you'll know how sweet they are. Say I'm a sweetheart. Can you, would it zoom on your face? Will it focus? Oh it did. Look at his face guys. Oh my good. Bella. We're good. Now give me Tom Tom. Hello. Now, Tom Tom is the second oldest. Tom Tom is dark with a little bit more white on the belly. This is our little Tom Tomers. Let's see if I can focus on his face because his face is so dark. But he's a little sweetheart too. Look at him. Hi, baby boy. Oh, he's got his tongue sticking out, guys. Aww. Oh, I love you. Okay, who do you got here? Okay, now. The way it worked was I was up at like four or five in the morning with them and she had two puppies and then like an hour went by and I didn't think she was having any anymore even though she was big. So I went to back to bed because I didn't get any sleep. So the next, when I woke up, 
all of a sudden she had four puppies. So I think, I think, they're probably not, but I call these last two twins because their markings are very similar, just slightly different. This one here is Uno. I named him Uno and Dose. <laughs> this is Uno. He's pretty much dark and he's got the tiniest little white spot on his belly and just a little bit of white back toes. But Uno is so adorable. Has, let me see if I can get him to stick it up. The tiniest little Shih Tzu tail. Look at this little nubbin of a tail. His brother's tails are all like this. He has like this little nubbin. It is so cute. Just say hi. He is not, he's my, he's not a cuddler. But he's a cutie. Is it going to focus on his face? Put his face in front of mine? It's not. But look at him. He's so cute. I love you even though you don't want to be held. Mwah, I love you, Uno. Okay. And then, of course, this one's our fatty. The one that wants to eat all day. This is Dose. He looks just like Uno. But his little white mark on his belly is slightly bigger. And he's got a little more white toes. But see how long his tail is compared to Uno's? Look at that. I a long tail. But anyways, <laughs> these are my little dose. Aren't they adorable, you guys? They are four weeks old. So they're getting close to that age where I'm going to have to find you loving, adoring homes. Look at them. Oh, I just want to love them forever. How long could I just sit here and pet a puppy before you guys would turn off and not watch me anymore? Like, I mean, give me like a time limit because I might actually do that. I might just sit and cuddle puppies. Mm. Even though they don't want to be. But okay, here we go. <laughs> They're going to go back to their mommy now. So, sorry that I didn't have any more whips. But I'm going to get cracking on whips and cracking on my designs. My mind is like exploding with design ideas. So like I said, head over to, uh, not Pinterest, Ravelry if you want to be one of my testers and sign up. I am so excited for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I can't wait for you guys to see it tomorrow. So it will be fun. And... That's it, guys. I'm going to get out of here now. Because now i got to clean this all up and film for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Or at least get ready to film for it. I might film it in the morning. I'm tired. Anywho. <laughs> Bye, guys.